Have you ever helped your mother on wash day, as Penny is doing today? It's a fine, sunny day. The light from the sun is very bright. Penny can feel some of the heat that comes from the sun as it shines on her face. She can look about the yard and see the tree with its green leaves. And the doghouse, and her dog, too. Because of the sunlight, nearly everything looks bright and colorful. But there are other days when the sunlight isn't as bright. Then colors aren't as bright either. The tree looks darker today. The doghouse seems to be a darker color too. Things aren't bright today because clouds keep much of the sun's light from shining through. Later in the day, just before the sun sets, there is even less light. The doghouse is harder to see without much light on it. Before very long, it's night. We can't see very well who is in the yard. It's Penny's father. We can see his face as he lights a match. Now, as he lights a fire, the flames give even more light, but far less light than the sun does. We call the light from a fire artificial light because it doesn't come from the sun. Can you name some other ways to make artificial light? What about a flashlight? A flashlight will make one kind of artificial light. It is electric light. The light near the back door is electric light, too. Light made in different ways is much alike. Whether it is from a light bulb, or from a fire, or from the sun, or from these auto headlights, all light is much alike. Because it is so much alike, light often does the same things. All light can travel from one place to another. Light from the auto headlights travels to the door of the garage. We can see clearly the part of the garage that the light is traveling to. We can see Penny's father only while he is in the light. When he goes out of the light, we can't see him. In the morning, we can see the garage very well because there is much more light from the sun. Our Earth receives light from the sun because light can travel through space. Light travels through many things. It travels through glass. Windows made of glass let light into Penny's house. Light travels through this plastic bowl, too. But not as much light travels through this plastic as through window glass. We can see Penny's hand, but not as clearly as if the light were coming through glass. But light doesn't travel through some things, such as a person's hand. When light doesn't travel through something, we often see a shadow. Here is a shadow made by the sunlight. Penny remembers that shadows can also be made without sunlight. In the dining room, we'll see some shadows made with artificial light. We can use a flashlight to give us light. First, we'll turn off all the electric lights in the room to make it dark. Now we can see the light from the flashlight that travels to the wall. There's a shadow. It's the shadow of a pair of scissors. Light can't travel through the scissors to the wall. We can tell that the scissors are stopping part of the light because the shadow on the wall is shaped just like the scissors. When we take the scissors out of the light, there is no shadow. Nothing is stopping the light from traveling to the wall. But Penny's hand will stop part of the light. We can see the shadow of her hand where light is not reaching the wall. Now we're going to learn another thing about light, that light travels in a straight line. To show this, we'll use the flashlight and some black tape to stop part of the light traveling from the flashlight. 
We also need a straight ruler and a small mirror. Now the flashlight has been taped so that light coming from it can travel only through a narrow opening in the tape. We'll turn the flashlight on and turn off the room lights. When the flashlight is held near the wall, we can see a long line or beam of light on the wall. By holding a straight ruler along the edge of this line, we can see that the edge of this beam of light is straight. The edge stays straight even when the line moves up or down. Have you ever seen a straight-edged beam of light such as this? You have if you've ever watched a beacon that night. Watching this beacon, we can see clearly that the beam of light travels in a straight line, much as this beam does on the wall in Penny's house. By using a mirror, we can change the direction in which light travels. Light travels to the mirror and then upward from the mirror in a new direction. When light changes its direction in this way, we say it is reflected. When the mirror moves, the reflected light changes direction. Let's look at another example of reflected light. Perhaps you've set the table for a meal, as Penny often does. And you may have seen how a shining knife reflects light. Sunlight travels to the shiny silverware. The silverware changes the direction of the light, and we can see it reflected to the wall. We saw how a mirror changes the direction of light. Whenever light changes its direction in this way, it is reflected light. The light does not travel through the mirror, but it will travel through this magnifying glass. We turn the glass so the light will travel through it. As the light travels through the magnifying glass, the beam of light is bent or changed in shape. We call light that is bent in such a way refracted light. A special piece of glass called a prism will also show refracted light. A prism will bend sunlight in a special way. On the table we see many colors because sunlight is being bent by the prism. Here's another way to show refracted sunlight. Instead of a glass prism, we can use a pan of water and a mirror. We pour a little water into a flat pan. We set a small mirror against the edge of the pan in the water. When the mirror is slanted just right, on the ceiling you'll see many colors, just as you do in a rainbow. If you've ever seen a rainbow, you've seen a very good example of refracted light. Do you remember some of the things we've learned about light? We've said that all light is much alike in many ways, whether it is sunlight, or artificial light. We also learned that all light travels from one place to another. Light travels in a straight line, but we can change the direction in which light travels. Then we see reflected light. Sometimes we can change the direction in a special way. If we do this, we'll see that light is made up of all the colors of the rainbow. We call this refracted light. Light is most important to us because without it, we couldn't see. Because light travels, light from this electric light will help us to see at night as it travels to our book and other things in the room. Because light travels in a straight line, auto headlights help us to see the road ahead at night. During the day, light is useful too. Because the direction in which light travels can be changed, we can see things behind us without turning around by using a mirror to change the direction of light. Because light travels through many things, such as the colored glass in this traffic light, we can see the stop and go signals even during the day. We found out some important things about what light can do. Perhaps now you can think of more ways in which we make use of the things light does.